A beloved piece of war history is ready to return home to Cleveland. The World War II submarine, the USS Cod, has been in dry dock in Erie, Pennsylvania the past few months. And here's why. A rusty hull, worn out sun faded paints, and weak steel mornings meant the Cod, which has been anchored in Cleveland since 1976, was in desperate need of repair. Now, two months later, the Cod is in tip top shape. Our Dominic Ferrante gives us a preview. Finally ready to return. With wraps still on the ship, you may not even recognize it, but this is the new look for the USS Cod. After spending months here in Erie, the vessel is now ready to come home. We're headed back to Cleveland. When Don John Shipbuilding took a look at the vessel, they could only see what was above the water. And it wasn't until they dry docked the cod and removed inches of invasive zebra mussels before they knew just how much work needed to be done. But when we got in the dock, it's more gave us a real eye opener what we had to deal with. On top of the many other repairs that took place, one of the most important was a fresh coat of paint. And Paul says at this point, it's just a matter of short strokes. It's been an exciting uh, six, well, eight, seven, eight weeks almost, uh, but uh, we're raring to get home. Crews worked tirelessly, even changing their work schedule around to make sure the cod was completed quickly. It was their hard work that got the job done. This time we had to have them really step up, really took a toll on these guys, but they really pushed through and got it done in the time period we needed to. Now the team is hoping to take off this weekend with a 13 hour long tugboat trip along the north shore of Lake Erie, back to its home in downtown Cleveland. In Erie, Pennsylvania, Dominic Ferrante, 3 News.